which size is actually better. Today's video is a little comparison between the Louis Vuitton BB as well as the Louis Vuitton Palas MM. So I thought it'd be fun to come up here and just do a little comparison in the event that you guys were deciding which size is better. Back to the channel my name is jenny as you guys know i am obsessed with handbags i love fashion luxury anything and everything related on the channel we do reviews comparisons unboxings you name it anything of such if you like that kind of video as well then please consider subscribing so today's topic is on louis vuitton and i know the palas bags are no longer i don't think they're getting produced anymore on Louis Vuitton's website. I'm not sure about the BB, I'll check and I'll drop, um, I'll drop it here if I do find it somewhere. So I think you do have to go pre-loved for these. However, I personally really like buying pre-loved when it comes to certain things, especially Louis Vuitton. So I thought it'd be so helpful in the event that you guys were deciding between the two. Um, so here's the story with this one. So I bought this when the PLOS first launched, and that was, I think, back in like, I wanna say like around 2014 or 15, something like that. So I've had this for a while. Um, I bought this bag because back then I liked bigger bags and I just brought more stuff with me. But I love it because it has these magnetic pockets and that's what really drew me in on both sides. And I love how it's kind of lined in micro suede. And at that time, I didn't know as much about handbags, so I just bought what I liked. I didn't put as much research towards it. However, it's okay, but my only regret is this Vachetta is, I carry this by the handle, and because it's Vachetta, I'm always kind of worried about it turning too dark because then it won't match the beige over here. But then again, like I just love the contrast between the beige and the monogram at the time. So I knew I wanted this. The inside is actually really nice because it is micro suede and I have actually a organizer in there, but it also has these like side pockets, which makes it so easy to organize your stuff. And I still think it looks like such a cute bag. And it comes with a strap over here. So you can actually, it's not long enough to be crossbody, but you can definitely use it as a shoulder. So for me, I mainly held it like this in the crook of my arms. And I still think it's such a like really cute bag. It's great for work. It's great for, you know, just, I wouldn't say like running errands because of the Vachetta, but I just think it's an overall really good bag. And there's been a couple times I wanted to sell this bag only because of the size and the fact that I just haven't used it. But you have to say like for a bag that's since 2014 or 15, the, I've kept it in pristine condition because I do that, I kind of baby all my bags. So, you know, I always rotate them. I take good care of them. Um, this one is a slightly patina, but for the age, it basically looks brand new. There's not a scratch in sight. So it's such a great bag. And like I said, I've been tempted to sell it, but I've been hesitant to because it is a really good bag. And I feel like I will want to use it again one day um, when I need to carry more stuff. But at that time, they actually did not have the BB size. This one came out later. Had I known this size was going to come out, I actually would have bought this instead just because it still fits so much. It's almost like, I feel like this is the same size as like the Speedy 25, the other one I have up here. However, it probably fits a little bit less because it's not as wide and that one's like more of a bucket barrel kind of shape, whereas this one is not. But still, it holds so much and then some. So I don't think the MM size is necessary, but I thought it would be fun to kind of share these two. As you guys know, this one is not my bag. The MM is, this one is OC Luxuries. Um, I did a vlog sale with in partnership with them last week and we had shared this. Um, I still had this bag, so I thought I would just show you guys um, if you guys were interested. But again, like I just think this size is so amazing. I wanna show what fits inside because and I'll drop the dimensions below or on screen. I'm not sure like the exact sizing of this, but 
It's similar to the MM. It has two zippers, so it's for easy access. This one also comes with a strap, but the best part is this strap is actually crossbody length, whereas the MM size is not. And that's one of the biggest things for me because I just love crossbodies. Um, and you know, this one isn't. And my MM isn't, but this is not adjustable, whereas the other MM one is, but still shorter. So this is what the MM strap looks like. And here is the size of the BB. But you can see, like, it's just like the perfect crossbody. So I personally really like it because I feel like I would wear it as both. Um, and because this to me is not a mini bag. This for sure is like a size small. And to me, the MM is a true medium. Um, but this is not by any means media, uh, size small. So the inside is black micro suede. And instead of having two pockets, the MM version has two pockets on the side. This one only has one. And that's the one over here, if you can see that. And this one, I believe, is made in France. And the bottom has feet, just like the version that I have. But this one is in black. So it's so much more carefree. I wish I would have gotten black one because the machete just like makes me kind of scared to use it. And I've been stuck in a rain with that bag because when I first got it, I lived somewhere where it rained a lot. So I literally would take off my jacket, put the coat over the jacket just so the machete doesn't get damaged. And I did not spray that bag or anything like that. Back then, like I said, I didn't really know as much about how to take care, condition, all that stuff. So I just left it as is, but still in like really, really good condition. But again, let me just share what fits inside these two bags. You know, like I said, I just like doing comparisons. I thought it'd be helpful. So if I were to put like a bigger makeup pouch, like this Stony Clover, which is actually filled with my um, stuff, this actually does fit, but you can see it does take up like a good amount of space, but it still fits. And if I wanted to carry a full size wallet, that would fit in there as well. Sunglass case. And again, I'm showing you my chunky stuff so you guys can see. So with those three things, that's what this will look like. And again, I made sure to like go through different sizing, but yeah, you'll see that it is a little bulky just because I put really big items in here. But realistically, I don't really carry this one unless I'm like going somewhere, like traveling that I usually don't carry a case. I usually use like a soft case, but let's be realistic about it. So I would obviously carry a wallet. I would carry a compact, my sunscreen, carry my Jo Malone perfume, some AirPods, lotion, and that's pretty much it. But if, again, if I wanna carry any kind of glasses, that fits actually perfectly with still a lot of room to spare. Do you see that? So this bag fits a ton and I can throw in other stuff too, but I just, you know, like I know if I have my um, mini pochette, this will fit perfectly too. When I zip it, it's great. And you can actually just put your phone in here. So it's such a good size. I love this bag so much and it's lightweight because it's canvas, but the micro suede inside makes it so luxe. I just think this is like the perfect size. And again, like I like debating if I should sell my MM so I can actually get a BB size. I just feel like I'll use it more. I don't know. I really do like the design of the Palas. I wish they didn't discontinue it, but you know, I know Louis Vuitton kind of is transitioning, you know, out of monogram, not out of monogram, but just doing less of it and focusing in on a lot of the on stuff. So not sure if they're, they're going to bring this one back, but yeah, I just think it's so cute. Okay. If you go through my MM size, I have this stuffed right now. I do have an organizer in here from Zumoni and it's perfect because it's made for the Palas and it blends in so well. And I wanted an organizer because the bag is bigger. It has more slouch to it, if, see. But with the organizer, it just makes it more, you know, slouchy, but kind of structured, which I think is important. Um, but just to show the difference, if I were to bring my Louis Vuitton monogram 
planner. This actually fits in there. So that will give you a good size comparison. I could carry my big makeup pouch, my glasses, full size wallet, perfume, compact, and everything actually fits in there too. And I could zip it. So you can see the size difference. This one actually fits a lot more. And the shape is still good. So there is definitely you know, a difference between two sizes, but it's just for me personally in my lifestyle right now, I just don't need to carry that much. But again, like I really still like this design. So I am decided to keep this in my collection and not let this go because it's just, you know, really nice. Um, and although I know I featured on my blog sale, I know some of you are interested. I apologize because sometimes, you know, I don't know. I just, sometimes it's hard for me to let go of things. So yeah, that's just a little quick comparison. I literally just wanted to hop on and show the difference between the two. So if you're a person that doesn't need to carry that much, but you are not into the mini, mini bags because you still need to carry stuff and you love cross bodies and, but you love the versatility, like this bag is for you. It's so cute. But if you want something that fits more, but still has like the organization and that look, then the MM is perfect too. So all in all, like, I think both are great. It just depends on like how much you want to carry. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure if you guys are interested in the Louis Vuitton uh, Plus BB size. I actually don't know if this is still available. I think someone might've purchased it. I'm not hundred percent sure, but if you guys are interested, just let me know. I can check with Monique to see if this is still available, but I do think this is like pending. Um, I think this is already on reserve for someone, but I just thought I would show you guys this. Like I said, I created this channel really to help and do comparisons because sometimes I can't decide if I want to purchase like what size I can't see it. I don't know like what style I want. And I personally lean on YouTube to kind of help me make those decisions. So hopefully this video was helpful. And lastly, really quickly, I did run a giveaway with OC Luxury last week on my last vlog, and that's for this Gucci makeup or any kind of pouch for that matter. And again, like this will fit in both the MM and the BB. It's so cute. So if you guys have not entered, there's still a little bit of time. I'm going to drop in the description box a video last week, and that will have all the instructions on how to enter. Um, and you guys, that is pretty much it. Just thought I'd do a quick little comparison. If you guys want to see more comparisons, drop a comment below. And like always, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you in my next one.